Cowabunga dudes! Michelangelo here from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you are listening to the Tokyo Black Hour with Jermaine, Jamar, Branding, the most bodacious dudes right here! Cowabunga! Whoa! Welcome back to the Tokyo Black News and Review, episode 303. We should call it the 3.3. 302.303. We had a little mishap last week. We, we we recorded a whole episode last week, and it was funny. And we had a little mishap. We ain't going to blame nobody, but, you know, technical it, difficulties kind of ruined the show. It was me. I was a dumb fuck. It happens. It don't happen to us before, but we didn't have time to catch up and re-record the show. But welcome back to 303, man. It's almost Labor Day. You get the three amigos, the only three people on the podcast, I suppose. You get me, J.R., the most unarticulate man in the world. We get my main man, Brandon, the white liaison. If he can't explain it, it cannot be explained. And Labor Day, Shawty said he'll be right back because Labor Day is right around the corner this weekend with a sprinkle of Dragon Con. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't make it because I got the fucking Rona. COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. The hand of God. Yeah. <laughs> the wind of God. Sorry. I ain't even gonna lie to you, boy. That shit just been, that shit like, that shit like jump broke, boy. It's, it's, it's in everybody's squad right now. Like, everybody keep telling me, oh, my daughter caught COVID. I'm like, it's coming back? What yeah. was all those jabs for? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the wife works at the doctor's office, so fucking it was a matter of time. She got it for the first time. She What's dodged. She dodged what? it all those years. Yeah, first time having it. I was like, "Oh, look at you." Yeah. Was it what, that first time to work, boy? I wanted to slit my goddamn throat. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time wasn't quite as bad as that first one. Yeah. I, I like this shit. <laughs> I I would have taken the jab to get them demons off. <laughs> 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 that all my times of living I've been sick but I have never in my life been that sick with food poisoning and people say I make that up no it was food poisoning and COVID God. I ain't eat for a week and a half bro a week and a half dude I couldn't imagine having food poisoning on top of COVID like oh fuck up, yeah I, I, I would wanted to split my wig at that point for real I was on my knee praying to somebody. Somebody saved me. Thank God for my wife. I always remember, women are strong. Man, she had to play with my son and everything, and she was hurting so bad, I couldn't do nothing for her, bro. Because when I get sick, sick, it's a wrap for me. Oh, me too. I'm strong, but when I get sick, sick, I'm an old pitiful old man. You want to you wanna rob me, get me while I'm sick. I'll throw all the money at you. It'll be like that fry future woman shit. Take my money. <laughs> Take yeah. my money. Yeah, it's because I get sick so rarely, you know. Like, I get sick. Well, I've gotten sick. It was only two years in between fucking Ronas this time around. Usually I get sick about once every five or six years. Like, sick, sick. Like, there'll be a strain of the flu come through. That'll just knock me completely the fuck out. And I'm like you. Like, if I get sick, I'm all the way sick. I ain't, like kind of got the sniffles and feel a little bit bad sick. I got, you know, 101 fever, shaking like a fucking junkie, sweating like a whore in church sick. Boy, I was even praying to the center bike, nigga. Show me what pleasure you have. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody from here raise a pin, pinhead, I'm dying <laughs> over here. And this ain't no crackhead shakes, boy. But I'm like you. I don't get sick that often, but people always tell me, you always get sick. No, I go to work sick. But when I get this sick and I be saying, bro, I can't come in, it's bad. That right. Yeah, but yeah, people know that if I'm calling in sick, then I'm motherfucking sick. Yeah. Well, congratulations on surviving COVID-19 once again. I don't know what the fuck the government doing. You know, hell, Joe Biden got it. Anybody can get it right. I mean, yeah. He should be he should be maxed up maxed up maxed up. 
So let's get on down to episode 303 of the Tokyo Black News and Review. We're going to try to get this one through. Hopefully it's a fun episode, and then we're going to do a uh, Labor Day extravaganza episode. Hopefully we can get Dusty and Christian to be special guests. You heard what I said. Special guest. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Labor Day shout out come back. But let's get on down to the Drum Beats of War. If you ain't been listening this week, all of these stories are going to be from... August the 19th, all the way to August the 26th, 2024. And then I heard this on the radio. I was, one day I was going to work. Yeah, I got a job now. Go figure. I would listen to the radio, and they were saying in um, Ukraine, in Kiev, a lady was giving a warning that missiles were coming, and that shit just cut off. From from the looks of it, it looked like Russia dropped a hundred ballistic I think ballistic missiles and a whole bunch of other varages shit at one time. It was f- ruined, Keith. And I was like, man, for Labor Day, y'all fucking up. Y'all doing the shit like this? Yeah, stay strong, blood. Yeah. Please. Y'all, y'all, y'all motherfuckers talking about Putin couldn't afford it, but it was 100 missiles of all various types in a whole, in a hundred in a hundred sh- in a hundred drone just shooting key dude and I you couldn't. know what Zelensky said I'll need some more money <laughs> yeah dude I couldn't imagine yeah that just having to walk out of your door to go to work every morning puckered up because at any moment the fucking you know tomahawks you can- coming across the fucking thing you can hear in her voice. She was talking uh, Ukrainian or whatever, but boy, that mother, her voice started shaking. She was just killed. That shit just went black. Mm. That was the end of the message. She still was talking. And I'm just like, well, what are we doing here? I, I just got to say that. I don't care about nobody. We shouldn't be fighting, bro. I seen some videos of some kids in Russia skateboarding. That's all they want to do. Who want to who wanna wake up to the morning to a goddamn 100 missiles blowing everybody up? Nobody. Definitely not me. Me either. Thank mm. God for living in America, boy. <laughs> Real talk. But y'all be talking that shit. Putin ain't got no nuts. I'm trying to figure out where all this money going. We keep giving to Ukraine. Y'all motherfuckers should have built a Tesla force field by now. The fucking guns and ammo cost. Yeah. I don't see how. <laughs> who Who is the person selling all these guns and ammo? It can't be, it can't be Ruger or whoever else on. How much money are they making? Uh, probably a mint. A they of, should be what? It's a lot of trillionaire money. Trillionaire dollar company. It's a lot of money in war. Yeah. A lot of money. That's insane. Well, let's get on down to people who no longer have to worry about war. Hey Brand. Yeah. All them people who won't be there, who won't be able to enjoy those Labor Day ribs. <laughs> Room service. Y'all need y'all niggas bring me some chicken wings, two hoes, a red bone, oh, and a white man. girl. Gotta be in the upper room. Let's get up to the celebrities and the people who have passed away. Not so many this week. Yet again, all the way from August the nineteenth, all the way to August the twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. Let's get on down to TikTok dancer, dancing engineer. I have no idea who this man is. He is dead at 34. What is the dungaree fever? A dungy fever. What is this? D E N G U E. Dungy fever? Oh, yeah. Dengue. I think it's dengue fever. Dengue? I heard that shit was pretty awful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hear it's not, I hear it's not that great. Yeah. Not something you want to catch. Damn, boy. TikTok did not say this man for his dancing and his fever. But let's get on down to the most famous person who passed away this week. I'm sorry. I had practiced her name, but I have gotten home kind of late and I have forgotten it. But I'm going to say it's Atsuku. Atsuku. A-T- 
S U K O as Suku Tanaka. She uh, she was the Japanese voice actor for um one of the characters in Ghost in the Shell. She was the Bayonetta Japanese voice actor, and she did a whole bunch of other stuff. She passed away at sixty one from an undisclosed illness, and a lot of people know her, especially the people, the fanboys, and the people who like to look at Japanese anime in the uh, regular language. Right. Shout out to our boy, man. I don't know if he listened to the podcast, but Jesse, you know that motherfucker speak full Japanese? I did not know that. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Huh. He he said he, we got a he, Japanese liaison now. Like Britney's yeah. buddy, Jesse? Yeah. Huh. I did not know that. Yeah, he didn't learn. He learned Japanese from watching. Uh, he learned Japanese so he can watch anime the, the proper way. Huh. All right. That's a good dude. I like Jesse. Oh, yeah. Me yeah, too. He's a like stand up guy, you know? Oh, man. So we'll send out a few. Hey, the only person going to heaven is going to be uh, Asuku <laughs> Tanaka. <laughs> I don't care about that other dude. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> what I miss? A nigga dancing there? <laughs> he caught some unbelievable fever. <laughs> Was it a jungle fever? I think you get I think you get that in like um tropical climates like the jungle, so over in like Africa and like East Asia and shit like that, I wanna say. It's spread by <laughs> fucking uh, mosquitoes, I wanna I think. They always say mosquito spread shit. Oh, dude, be... Mosquitoes are a scourge. Yeah. But mosquitoes are the only thing that keep your black ass in the goddamn future. Oh, we still got you know, we still got dinosaur DNA because of mosquito. I bet you mosquito wasn't giving no dinosaurs no COVID. That's the man-made <laughs> mosquito. I'm with my big brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to give a shout-out for two people yeah. who passed away last week. The dude from Famous Amos Cookies and uh, Phil Donahue. They uh, passed away last week. Yeah. What's the dude name from uh, Famous Amos Cookies? Willie Amos? Isn't that his name? Willie Amos, shout out to goddamn Brandon and getting this black card. Mine is getting <laughs> snatched up every day. Give a shout out to them. Before we get on day, man, hey, Brandon. Yeah. We got some people putting the pre-upper room, too. Oh. <clears throat> we got you some ready? pre's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the white people in South Africa who wants to create an independent state where no black people are allowed. <laughs> hey, Brandon, what sound they going to hear? <laughs> they already tried that once. It didn't work out great for him. I'm just Bruh. saying. You, go ahead. I was just going to say quickly, as I read that shit, I was like, y'all niggas making y'all own flags, but you know how they fuck up Brandon? Do they, tell. Have them soft, they have all them soft ass good old boys over there. <laughs> they carry gun, but them niggas over there cutting niggas' arms and shit off. You can't be you can't be prepared for that. Then a gun fight you be part, prepared for. Apartheid, whatever that shit yeah. was. But they, you they, know, go ahead, Jermaine. Nah, what you say about the apartheid? Nah, I said they tried it with apartheid. Oh. That shit only lasts for so long. It's just, man, it really takes a lot of balls from white people to try to make a fucking whites only space in Africa. You know, like, come on, bro. It's like the blackest you know place like on about? earth. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. If Black Panther didn't teach you white folks nothing, <laughs> the word colonizer should have been just like in bold letters. Like, what are you niggas doing? Like, tighten up. You don't see a nigga going to White County and saying all the niggas finna live here. I'm just saying. I feel you. I mean, like I said, it's saying. a bold, it's a bold, uh, bold stroke on white folks' part. I'm I'm really I'm really starting to figure out y'all can't be that intelligent, because eventually, you already see that over there in South Africa they kicking white people out, but you know you know white folk got some trickery up their sleeve, so you know the whoever took over, the dude was kicking all those white folks out and taking over white people farming land. Yeah, I remember that. But you know what the caveat was about that shit? What's that? The people who took over didn't know how to farm, so they had to bring the white people back. The, the farm because they were goddamn dying of starvation. <laughs> but it's fucked up. But you know what their rule of thumb is? 
What do they always say? Teach a man how to fish, he eat for a lifetime. Right. Give a man the fish, he eat for a week. Yes. It's a slick shit. If you're not going to teach the people in their own country how to farm, if you take well, that away from them, how can they survive? Well, before you take over the farm, you definitely might want to know how to run it. You yeah. Hey man, you know, my, you know, black people impatient. <laughs> Throw them niggas to the wolves. It's like I, pre- I appreciate the initiative and the go get itness, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> like, you gotta <laughs> put them in slavery so they can get the farming for you. Hit them niggas with some whips. <laughs> See how strong y'all backs is for Labor Day weekend. Well, goddamn white folk went not last two hours out. There. Hold up now, <laughs> hold up, boss. That's I was not here. Third, I ain't had one fifteen minute break. <laughs> That's all I can they say. Go. Say about my people is we're pretty uh pretty in you know ingenious when it comes to taking other people's shit and making it ours. We make sure we got all the I's dotted and the T's crossed. I wanna say lying, one boy. thing before we get out of this shit. <clears throat> White people, like Jamal said, y'all motherfuckers don't learn or haven't learned. Do they ever pay attention that America never goes to Africa and goddamn really start no shit? Whatever happened just pretty much happened. <laughs> yeah, Man. I mean, yeah, once they shut down the they slave trade. Cut, yeah, they started cutting them niggas. They started cutting up crackers over there. What they started doing, Brandon? They started turning the cheek. Up. Hey, we can't help y'all. You're in another <laughs> country, man. You done <laughs> fucked up. You're not an American. See her? You remember what Trump said? We can't help them. They're not American citizens. The white folks sitting in them in them internment camps sitting there looking crazy. Save us, Trump. No, <laughs> nigga no, holding no, their ID no. to the camera. I'm an American citizen. You in rice sacks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you gotta no, tighten no. up, boy. Oh man, so let's get on the good old, good old American news. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. I don't know if y'all seen it this week. Have y'all seen all those portals in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Yes. I don't know what the fuck that is. Somebody gave a long explanation what it was. I'm going to just tell, tell y'all people. Y'all can quit lying to us, man. Some shit going down. <laughs> we need to know if I need to quit my job that week. That's why they're not going to tell you. They're going to keep them goddamn jobs running all the way up until the end. You know, they I need to know shit. if I need to fuck a solar company to get me some solar panels up on this house right now. <laughs> You know they, what I'm saying? They, they ain't going to tell you. They're just going to keep us, keep the great unwashed fucking working for as long as they can, you know? Man, bro, let me know. Because don't think I ain't coming for them white folk how with the solar panels and the generator. <laughs> Get up, nigga. <laughs> hey, Brent. Yeah. When that white man see me coming with that shotgun for that house with that generator. Nigga, did you take my money? <laughs> what money? So if you want to be looking so special, go look at those portals, man. But let's get on down. <laughs> Great American news. Boy, we ain't got much. But shout out to Trump. Boy, he is winning <laughs> and losing. This is from uh, Meteorite.com. Trump said he wants to get his hair cut from a black barber. They can make my hair look better. Ain't nothing to make that shag look better, boy. <laughs> but maybe, you know what? Maybe a black barber can make your hair look so good you wouldn't even know who he is. They can't. They can't. Black barbers can do a lot of shit, but you're right. There's nothing. There's nothing <laughs> anybody can do with that fucking hair. It looks like cotton candy. <laughs> black folk, he'd be looking like somebody from the 60s with a shoe up. What the fuck they do with his hair? Bro. You know. I mean, Tim. I don't. Maybe if they can tease it, throw it out a little bit. I, dude, I boy, I'd fucking holler if he came back with some braids or something. Yeah. I want you, I want you niggas to understand. Every time I think about that black dude and tell him what that white man said when he walked in that barbershop, uh, y'all remember that shit? Oh, no, nah, dude. It was the dude at our old job yeah. said that. Hey, bro, I know this nigga said, Brandon. He said, I was just looking for a barber, twins. So I said, it's a barbershop. I ain't seen nothing but white folks in there. You know what he said? The barber looked at him and said, we don't, close that, we don't cut that close to the head in here, boy. He was like, God damn. He was like, he, he said, it's a barber shop. You ain't got no clippers. All I <laughs> seen was a bunch of combs and scissors. It was a barber shop with no clippers. Bro, I think he just walked in the wrong. If there was another white folks in there. And if the comment come out of nigga mouth, we don't cut that close to the head of hell, boy. You might just be like, whatever, cracker. 
I don't want my have fucked up her hair anyway. Had me yes. looking like goddamn yeah. me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> yeah, white folk can't cut no black folk hair, boy. I don't know what the hell. They be throwing water on our yeah. Shit, we gonna how you want me to bob? Fuck it up. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> give me that. Give me that. Um, that um, that. Give me that NASCAR cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. that redneck special. I do. I barely remember what it's like to have a haircut now. Oh uh, man, ain't that insane? Of- you had one so long. You used to get one for when you was a child all the time. Dude, I haven't I haven't been to a barber in almost twenty years, probably. Save you some money, boy. But shout out to Trump wanting to go to the black barber. But you know how they can fix this hair? Barbers now have something that is called enhancement. That's a, that's a cool way to say I'm put some shoe put some shoe polish in your head so it don't look like you're bald. That shit don't last for nine days, and then after that, it's leaking out your head. So, you know, before we move on, don't forget we used to, ha- we, we used to be rappers. That was the name Tokyo Black came from. Since we no longer work with the other hillbilly and clown, because he's a here he's a crazy person. I remember he he was going bald in his twenties, right? And so we took him out. They took him to a barber. Man, he was looking sharp, boy. He was looking sharp. We went out there one day on ninety degrees. I still saw your back of your neck, <laughs> nigga. How was leaking? His shoe polish started coming down the back of his neck. The boy was looking like, what's the lawyer name? Oh, what's motherfucking Giuliani. <laughs> you looking like Giuliani. <laughs> I said, God damn, boy. Don't fuck up that polo shirt. Dude, once it gets to that point, man. Just go ball, Jack. Right, let Just it go. Go, ball, man. go Go gracefully. Uh man, shout out to Trump saying it's Trump, Trump again. Trump said he claimed the U.S. soldiers don't have ammunition because we gave it all away, which is the true fact. Is it? I didn't know it is. Talk to your friends in the military. They said they still be using old ass ammunition because they sending it all to Ukraine and other places. Hmm. Why is that even news? Wouldn't that be a good time to attack a nigga while he using nineteen sixty seven ammunition? Half of that shit gonna backfire and blow some niggas' eyes out. <laughs> you would assume, but I'm pretty sure everything back in the day, you wouldn't want to get shot by no gun from World War II. That oh, shit hell. was splitting everybody head like pumpkin head, and you just were going to pieces. Well, all that goddamn work it took you to do it, you better blow a nigga ass in half. <laughs> just everything. think about that. That's face to face contact war. Do y'all niggas know that? <laughs> Damn. Uh, everything like a Quentin Terry, everything like Django. When you shoot somebody, they fly out the house because the bullet be carrying them. <laughs> God damn. How much, I ain't never even thought about that to Jamal said. How much gunpowder them niggas were packing in that shit back in the day? <laughs> Think about it, bro. Like, bro, hey, look. A nigga, if, if a motherfucker had a, 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 a 45 or a Magnum, a Dirty Harry, Man, he he been blow more. He can he can shoot past. He can shoot twenty meters past you and blow your hat off, nigga. That's too much. That's that's too much gunpowder. <laughs> uh, think man, about you, it. You shoot a goat, it fly back twenty paces. He dead. I'm like, just, what? Just get the meat. Don't <laughs> shoot no cow. That cow like God. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga um, shoot the nigga whole house up with one bullet. Y'all got to pay attention to these nigga boy. This ain't satire. This shit legit. Oh man! Shout out to the shout out to white people making a cannon. I ain't <laughs> did that in a long time. Shout out to the first dude who got hit by that cannon, and you realize shit just got real. Let's get on down to newsbreak.com. Shout out to <laughs> Mike Lindell. I don't know how creditors ain't put him in jail yet at the bank. Mike Lindell shaved mustache to go incognito at the DNC and investigate unisex bathroom. Spiritual battle of evil and good. How is it? Anybody can tell that little lip when they see Mike Lindell. What you doing in that Mike Lindell? You don't look different. How is, how is his TikTok and Twitter still golden? Why the police ain't arresting him? If I ain't paying my bills in a minute, they gonna come to the house and get me. And he talking about he he going to unisex bathroom. I'm like, bro, you Mike Lindell. You got on a Hawaiian t-shirt and a cowboy hat. Nigga, you don't supposed to be here. 
So Mike Lindell shaved off his mustache to go undercover. Yes, I want you to understand. At the DNC. The yes, I want you to understand. This nigga has nothing else to do but check out bathrooms. Nigga, that's your job now, nigga. Don't lie to us. I wonder what's he on grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Look like that, my pillow got now. Nah, my name Mikey. Yeah. Oh, that broke ass nigga ain't got nothing to do with him. I got my money. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brandon, he get the good. That'll be ninety five dollars. Do you take credit? Do you take a check? Oh man. <laughs> he told him. Nigga, did you take my money? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Lindell said what? Shit. What money? <laughs> <laughs> Would you take my pillows instead? It's an even it's an even oh. exchange. Nah, that's what uh, no motherfucker. He can't hold on him no more. Oh man. Oh, and last week Alien Romulus came out. I gave it an A plus. I gave it an A because it's a fun movie. It's worth watching. That's my review for this week. Spend your money on Alien Romulus so we can get some more good alien movies. And, you know, believe it or not, Alien 2 was one of my favorite movies. Aliens, and I looked at it again last night. Not to, not to mention that um, James Cameron stole that shit from a movie. From a, but did you see the cut I sent you that somebody put on Facebook and it's a shot-by-shot scene of most of the same stuff? Yep, I seen it. It was some old black and white movie. I said, I've seen damn, that bro. move before when they fight giant ants. It's utterly insane, but it don't even matter. I love aliens to death. But go check out Alien Romulus. Go spend your money on it, man. It made about $205 million. Oh, did it? it? Worldwide. Did it? Wow. Only, did it bomb? No. It only cost uh, $80 million. Oh, oh okay. good for them. So worldwide it's made about two hundred and. $5 million, and they still got like 50 other countries or something to open up to. Believe it or not, that's the only movie China don't open up to in a long time from America. Huh, in a no while. Sure. China been holding some American movies back, but it is what it is, though. But go check it out. I If you're not going to go to D, if you're not going to Dragon Country weekend, go check it out, Brandon, and All let right. me know what you think. Well, maybe and I you know this. And this week, The Crow came out, boy, and that shit bummed more than a um, bad football player. That goddamn movie cost about $60 million. That shit made $7.5 million. And everybody Ooh. said it's unwatchable, and it is deemed terrible and dire. It's worse than Madam Webb. Madam Webb is not a bad movie. Lies. Only, the last, only the last five minutes is bad. Like, who was clamoring for a Crow remake? Like, nobody. Why? Why did it even need to get remade? Like, the Crow's kind of timeless, you know. Like, it's perfect. There, there's nothing that there's nothing in the Crow that it needs to be set in a modern day setting, you know. And hell, didn't the Crow take place in a lukewarm future anyway? So, uh, uh, it, Let's let's not get it twisted. It's a lukewarm future, the same as Predator Two. Right. It's in the future with these nice guns, but everybody still wearing suits in 150 degree weather. Right. That's and what I'm right saying. In New York City with some Ray A. Look yeah. with the Ray Gay Mafia. That, that's what I'm saying, man. The Crow didn't need to be remade. The Crow's fine. You can still go back and watch the fucking old Crow, and it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly watchable. You. Yeah. Yeah, me and Jamar probably seen that shit. 20 million times on VHS back in the day. It's a great fucking movie. It's a perfect movie. It's it's, it's one of those movies that doesn't ever need to be remade. Now, all that other crap, we can throw that in the trash. Oh, and the, the Crow 2, the EA, look. And even you, uh, David Boreanaz, we don't know why in the fuck they told you to play the Crow. He didn't play the Crow. He was the villain in it. Oh. The, crow, the, crew, the Crow Salvation ain't horrible. That's the second one. Then the third, the fourth, and the fifth one, that shit just go out the rail. They just were milking it. Then they made a Crow TV series. Whack. Which which Why? one was David Boreanaz the fucking villain in? The fourth fifth one, I think. The fourth, yeah. I think the fourth one. Man, that hey, motherfucker must have needed his AC fixed. Yeah. Man, that was in the that was in the ninety. It was in the mid two thousand. So you know that was before that angel check came in. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I, I think it was around. 
could have been around the same time, but like people don't realize David Boreanaz had done a bunch of movies that nobody remember. Dusty, who loves horror movies, he he couldn't remember Valentine. I don't know why they couldn't remember that. Really? I do remember he, that. He said what? And I asked a lot of people. Nobody remember Valentine. And it's a, it's not a bad movie. It's not a bad movie. But what it was worth at the time, it, it's worth it's watchable. And it's expensive as hell to get too. So you want to spend your money on that tighten up. You talking about the one with ain't the mind? No, that is um not my Valentine. Valentine. I think I do remember my Valentine. bloody Valentine. Valentine was the thing where the baby had the baby face and he'll bleed out the nose every time you kill somebody. I remember saying that. That baby, yeah, I remember that. Sorry, Br- Dave Burry, honest nigga. Brandon looking like what? No, I seen I saw it. Okay, well, cool. I saw. I think I saw both of them at one point. Yeah, they all the same. I definitely saw the Boreanaz one when sometime around after it came out. The Genesis Echoes was in My Bloody Valentine, the remake. Huh. Wasn't a remake, kind of like a reboot. Right. Ish. All right, moving on down. Going down to New York Post, the lifestyle. Remember that black dude from uh, who never missed a day after twenty-seven years? Yes. His daughter. At Burger King, his daughter said she was, you know, she was a little mad about how they treated her dad. But he, he, the daughter said he paid her way and his sister way through school. But you know, through college or whatever. Dude, so shout out to him, man. That motherfucker must have been, his budget must have been so tight. Yeah. <laughs> Tighter than the street, a G screen on a European. Bro, you ain't lying. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I make pretty decent cash, and I don't even know how I'd afford to put two kids through college. And you know, to understand that this nigga never missed a day, bro. Yeah, like and they should have gave that nigga a restaurant. They should have gave that nigga a whole fucking. That, they should have gave that nigga a business. And they gave him what? Oh, it movie was like ticket, yeah. some Jolly Ranchers. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think it was a movie ticket. I don't even think they gave him a pair to take somebody. I think it was a movie ticket. Uh, yeah, it was like a fucking pack of Kit Kats and so it, it was insulting as it was insulting as fuck. But yeah. shout out to America for giving him four hundred thousand dollars, and you know what he did with that money? Blew it on weed and hookers. I hope. No, he told Burger King to eat a dick, and he started his own food truck. Good for him. That nigga had to work 40 years to get that money. God damn, fuck you, Burger King. Unless you want us to advertise for you, then we'll let that shit go. Oh, my bad. So he got a backpack with a movie ticket, a Starbucks cup, and a mix of candy and chocolate for his nearly three decades of service. The disrespect of the manager. Y'all would be like, bro, take the whole six months off. Nigga, you getting paid. Then I would have ruined his blessing because nobody would have gave two shit about a nigga being out for six months and, not, and getting paid. Them Jolly Ranchers really helped him out. That candy really <laughs> helped him out. Now he got good money. Dude. They make me so mad with them crack of hey, that nigga. Whoever did it to him, boy, hey, look. Oh, hey, I would have bling. Hey, what's up, man? When this nigga walk out of here and deposit that cash, we're going to bust his head wide the fuck open. <laughs> so I, I, might, I might have put my fucking car through the fucking window. Yeah, the stowaway ain't did it to me. That nigga did it to me. I'm gonna yeah. fuck him up. I'd have walked outside and been. I'd, they'd have handed me that goddamn backpack with that candy <laughs> and that movie ticket. I'd have been like, oh, I'm very grateful. Where are you going? I'm gonna go put this shit in my car. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't ruin your life. Mm. All right, he trusts you. Bro, you, just bust the already, safe, you just bust the safe open in three months. I already ruined my life working at Burger King for 30 years. I mean, also respect dude to this guy. If that's what he loved doing, then fucking by all means, Jack. He did, he did the best he could and put his dog yeah. to school. So right. Still, I'm that's, with his dog. Right. What AK at? <laughs> no word. I'm just saying after 30 fucking years. I'd have rather, I'd rather you not even gave me nothing. I'd rather you just, I just thought you forgot to get me something rather than you give me some piddly ass fucking horse shit like that. Like, hey, I just finna go to the Dollar Tree real quick. Get this nigga real quick. Get him a car, some Jolly Rancher. Hey, get some of this stale ass chocolate too, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and 
for your manager to think that is a good gift is utterly insane. But moving on down to uh, billboards.com. I didn't even know Macklemore and his homeboy were still rapping. Do y'all remember they they considered them some of the best rappers ever? You know, like, who are these niggas? Uh, unfortunately, yes. You talking about Macklemore? You talking about the two white boys? Yeah. I'm so happy he moved on. I'm so happy we moved on from them and Lloyd. We got to stop letting white people who come out with catchy songs be considered rappers. Yeah, he, these, fucked, was, he, fucked Kendrick, he fucked Kendrick Lamar out of that Grammy for To Pimp a Butterfly, I'm pretty sure. Which is bullshit. You couldn't tell me two Mac Lamar songs right now. Even Mac Lamar was like flabbergasted, apparently. Now, that might have all been a show. That motherfucker was probably backstage fucking dapping his homeboy up like I can't believe it. Yeah, I but hey, I look. think he went on Twitter and apologized to Kendrick Lamar. I was like, yeah, fucking sorry. You should have got that. But it's too people, late now. Now you had to bring it was the a stunt. Yeah. You had to. Hey, 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 hey Brent, somebody do a money check on them niggas real quick. Oh, he worked Didn't they just make one album? No. Lloyd's still making music. Why? A bunch of albums. The singer who did I Used to Be a Diamond. I, know, I said, why? I don't know. And her new music ain't, it ain't even rap no more. I don't know what her new music is. It wasn't bumping. So oh. this whole story about Macklemore. Macklemore brought a super fan on stage at a festival. Unfortunately, she forgot the cops were looking for her. Nigga, she ain't forget. Her dream just came, too. came true. Now you can arrest me. It's always sweet when the artists invite a super fan on stage during the show. They give him a special moment, boy. Uh, the this, poly were waiting on him. Go ahead, bro. This just in Macklemore is worth $25 million. What? Doing what? That one song. Can you imagine going on stage? I love you, Macklemore. Hey, bro, we need her today. The police out there waiting on the back. That's why she went on stage, hoping she can get in the car and disappear. Oh, uh, it's too late now, Jack. When the, the police Lamar. get you, when the police get you at a concert, boy, you know your shit tight. I mean, you know you don't fucked up. Hey, man, and where's my big brother, Mac Lamar? You should have paid that girl bail. What was she wanted for? Any idea? The I utterly mean, go hold, hold on. The other the, the the unarmed the unnamed good citizen reported reportedly recognized a twenty four year old woman from the warrant page. And inform police who detain her after she left the stage. Why you hate? Right. Mind your business. He <laughs> was mad or she was mad she got on stage. I'm going to turn that bitch in. Yeah, right. Unless, unless yeah. she was the victim and she was like that fucking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio meme from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She was pointing at like, Wait a minute. What the fuck? That bitch. Uh, that, 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 I know her. I know that. At the end of the day, MYB, mind your business. Come t- it the hey, look, bro. I'm telling you. That might mean I need to change my lifestyle. I ain't niggas looking at bitches on the warrant pages. I wouldn't <laughs> even know it, if it, niggas it, on there. It wouldn't even hit. It was Slovaka. Slovaka? Slovak Republic. I have that no idea. Slovakia. Oh, Slovakia. It was it don't say Slovakia. It say S L O V A K. Oh, oh Slovak, huh? Okay. So block Republic, yeah. Hey, she snitching around there. <laughs> Moving on down to somebody, boy. You know what I love seeing about my, my black people? What's it? When they get out of court and don't be wanting them cameras on them. <laughs> Local10.com. Sean Kingston and his mother run out of federal court <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale. Do you know these hillbillies got into like a Maybach SUV or some shit? Word? Yes. Well, they probably bought it with all that money they had been scheming. They they gonna run out of court when they get out there and people ask them questions. I said, man, lock them nigga ass up, bro. Like y'all need to be doing a white folk like that. <laughs> if you run like, that way. If you all run out money. of court, boy, you going if you run out of court, you know you're guilty. Jermaine. My bad, boy. At the end of the day, all that money they got, why they couldn't do nothing with that his mama how? Anything. <laughs> I'm just saying, real talk. Like <laughs> she would have been profiling style in her jail picture. You not know, like... you know why? 
The police never catch you at your best. They always <laughs> catch you when your shit be <laughs> fucked up. They catch you with your teeth ain't in your mouth. Your eyeballs getting drawn on. Your clothes dirty. <laughs> he, I stop you when you're wrong. They they always catch you the week when you ain't getting no haircut. <laughs> they don't never catch you when your shit be dapper and fresh and you in a suit. They you catch know, you with I, some I sandals on wrong, and you bro. ashy. <laughs> we seen some fucked up jail pictures, boy. <laughs> Who been going down, man? You know what's crazy going on? Foxnews.com. I'm telling Brandon, I'm telling all my friends and all my peers. If you listen to the show, I want you to go and look at look at the news, not the news news. Look at what's really going on in the world. Weird shit. So a northeastern town issued a northeastern town. It's issued a voluntary lockdown to prevent the spread of a mosquito-borne disease. Easton, I don't know, I don't know how the fuck you say this name. Can be it's on Equia, Escapelity. I don't have no idea what the fuck this is, but it's some type of health scare from mosquito. But four Massachusetts towns, Douglas, Oxford, Sutton, and Webster, uh, have been put on a voluntary lockdown. How do you put four towns on a lockdown from a mosquito born illness? I don't know. It sounds like some outbreak shit to me. Yes. I need to know this. Do I need to go in the grocery store and hit them with that pistol and get some <laughs> wood from Home Depot and start covering up the walls? You never hear four towns. Right. Four, four of them, yeah. I mean, what these niggas are uh, now? Let, let's be honest now. If it's a town full of 30 niggas apiece, what we talking about here now? We talking about some structured towns, but it got like an actual downtown that ain't no that ain't no road. It's in Massachusetts. I don't know. That sound like a that sound like a lot of a lot of places that got to be put on a voluntary. Uh... Jamal might be right, but you know what that sound like, Brandon? Since you the white liaison. What's that? A bunch of white people on lockdown. They gonna act up tomorrow. No number of white people live in Massachusetts, right? Um, I mean, I guess depending on where in Massachusetts, you know. Everywhere, oh, yeah. nigga. This is this is how you say it. Eastern equine encephalitis. Eastern equine encephalitis. If you get anything that say lightest at the end of at the end of your hospital bill, <laughs> nigga, you might need to get that shit checked. Titus, lightest, anything with S on it. Okay, so hepatitis. <laughs> so it's af- after six p.m. effective immediately through September thirtieth. Ass better be in the house. Hold on, they, hey. they locked down, quarantine, or yeah. Hey, Jermaine, so Oxford, Massachusetts has a population of 13,000. So it looks pretty, pretty fucking small. Oh, well, Shit. right then. They got them nigga blocked off in the corner. This ain't like the city of Atlanta. You got to block off some city streets, nigga. Hey, man, you seen every zombie move. It only takes one. <laughs> Jamal, I was right. I apologize. You see, you see how COVID spread is so fast? Oh, we get two people from Wuhan and now all of America have it? Oh, don't worry about the country. Every country had it. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. So the total area is 27.5 square miles. Yeah, the point is, hey, Brandon, look up. Out there, we may don't need to be going to work no more. What's that though? And again, you, you oh, froze so, up. I said, well, What we need to check out, see, can we look up some videos of these towns and see if they got a Twitter page going? <laughs> because them motherfuckers say they got the military and they can't leave the house, something happening. <laughs> okay. Can somebody please do the research, go on Twitter, and look up these towns? Please let me know. I need to make some phone call. Hey, girl, the word going to end next week. How you feeling? I always yeah, make sure you have, <laughs> had a girl you want, had a girl you don't mind being with. Don't get trapped with the, the don't get trapped with the one you don't like. Yeah, don't be trapped with the one you love, nigga. 
Be try one you like it, love. One that gonna cut you, ease you through your pain. Stop doing you wrong. Yeah, don't, hey, look, don't take one that's fine either, nigga. She ain't gonna be fine forever in that bunker. Apparently, for <laughs> apparently they for, uh, truck based mosquito spraying has been completed there nine hours ago. But why yeah. it was September thirtieth, nigga? You you completed it nine hours ago. That don't make no sense. Thirteen hours ago, they were having like a little league game. So, oh yeah, oh Jamal, right? That's hey, look, town zero. These motherfuckers be the crazies. Get wiped off the map. Massachusetts, no such place called Massachusetts. Yeah, I don't believe shit when they be showing. They had a little league game, nigga. What? What? Let me see the team. Cause I'm trying to look at video and I don't see no videos of nobody from the town, people who live there. All I keep seeing is everything okay. Look on Facebook and look up somebody's name from so and so. See, yeah, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the Oxford Police Department's Facebook page right now. Oh, they're gonna hide a nigga. They, we had aliens in Miami, Florida, at the mall, and now now one of the police officers stepped up and said nothing. I'm mo- I'm most definitely not gonna believe the Oxford Police Department newsletter. Yeah, don't forget about Resident Evil. Don't panic, people. Everything is okay. Moving on. Um, blah 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 blah. Hey man, shout out to the shout out to the hillbilly who's been to get fired at Macy's. A Macy worker refused to allow service dog in store. The customer passed out. I don't think it's legal. They can have, they can even question this. Let I me. Mean, I'm all for you. It didn't have a leash on it. I don't want no white woman, no black woman, or any woman, any color, with a goddamn big ass dog with no harness on. Right. Right. But boy, you know you don't fuck up when you say she can't bring that dog in, so she leave the dog outside and she go in there and pass out. <laughs> and then the dog had to go in there and let her know that she ain't she passed out. Somebody finna get sued, Jack. What she passed out for? I don't even know. I ain't do too much in it. I ain't do too much. I just know in the article they show her feet at the door like the wicked witch when the house fell on her. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, look, bro, I'm telling you. Y'all white folk gotta get together, Brandon. <laughs> Because y'all niggas bring dogs everywhere. Everywhere. I was talking about the last week. I was like, why you got your dog in this tight-ass space, nigga? I'm hitting the cone over here. I don't even want to shop in here. I think I was in a Michaels, nigga. What you doing bringing your dog in a Michaels, nigga? All this shit. Yeah, I don't know. That goddamn cracker. That, that, that lady looked at me and they smiled. I said, All right, how you doing? He on bike. I said, yeah, whatever you say. Hit the cone. I'm up out of here. <laughs> that thing I know, I see you on the news. I'm nigga. He got blood on his jowl. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. All right. This just in. I have just looked at 22 people Facebook page from that area in Massachusetts, Douglas. Ain't none of them updated their Facebook since May. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've been in the blackout for a minute, huh? I'm just telling you what I just seen. Moving on down, we'll get ready. Hey, man, this is from Jermaine. This is from PHW. Hey, man, this is from Atlanta News, WSB, Channel 2 Atlanta. Yeah. Bro, if you went to Gwinnett County at a trampoline park, bro, I, I, at a popular trampoline park in Gwinnett County, that shut down. Former employees say they final check bounced. As the owner faced eviction after a lawsuit was filed against him. I've been to Urban now before. Dangerous as hell in some aspects, but still fun. Watch your kids when you go to these Urban Ave trampoline park. And this and this motherfucker just opened up. I think this opened up before I left my last job. But they got sued, and so you didn't pay your people? How is this possible? How is why everybody gotta get in line to sue the company? Just give me my last paycheck. I know it ain't worth much. That right. Yeah, I never understand that either. Yeah. That's when you got to take the um, secondary motion. Fuck it up. Nigga, ain't that all the trampoline got holes in them. Nigga, big ass Rambo knife been cutting them all up. Ain't no more air urban air, nigga. It's just urban in here. That's what I was telling them. <laughs> you can spray paint here, whatever the fuck you want to do. Because that nigga don't pay me to be in here, nigga. So the door's open free. <laughs> it's insane. Take the light bulbs, nigga. He, he can't afford them. 
Get all you can. Get the drink machine too, nigga. Leave me some out there. Take the syrup. Take the oh. CO2 tank. Take yeah, all the chicken wings out the back of the kitchen. I'm telling you, I don't. You shouldn't listen to me. But if a job screw you out your last check, everything that ain't bolted down is yours inside. That shit belong to you. Court order, nigga. By Tokyo <laughs> Black. <laughs> It should. How you gonna bounce my paycheck and then have me work for free? It's utterly insane. But we're gonna get ready to wrap it up. I see my boy Brandon running out of steam, but I can't wait for the goddamn Tokyo Black extravaganza. All right, man, we got one last great American hero. I got this from Dusty Easeman. The last great American hero this week. I only bring this up here at Blue Moon. So I think PHW sent this story. Shout out to my boy Paper Hand White. Oh, boy. A 60-year-old truck driver sued the Tokyo hospital where he was born after discovering, after discovering that he was accidentally switched with another newborn in 1953. He ended up with a poor single mom while the other baby grew up to his own real estate company family under his rich biological parents. <laughs> so pretty much he grew up to, he grew up with a poor family and the other child and the other child grew up with the rich family. That's some dirty shit right there, boy. Said, <laughs> I've been out here struggling. Right, I could have been fucking on easy street, but y'all motherfuckers got the game fucked up. You know? <laughs> trying to figure out what movie this is, nigga. Cause like your whole lifestyle of movie. I've been mad. Hey, look, I'm with this nigga. I be. Hey, you know what? It's kind of hard, because was he doing good at all, or was he just fucked up? He was a truck driver, nigga. Who, 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 who wants to be a truck driver when your mama and daddy own real estate? <laughs> but then again, nigga, like, you, are you really the biological son now, nigga? <laughs> that's kind of sad you're going to leave a mama like that, but, you know, see, your mama now, that's all. That's why back in the day they just be putting all them babies in the room. Which one mine? That one. <laughs> Which one you want? It's like picking your own lobster at the fucking yeah, seafood <laughs> restaurant. You know what I'm Let me get that, that one. Cute one. Yeah. I, ain't I that just, insane? You, bruh, looking at a newborn baby, all of them look the same. And you got to trust a tired nurse or a tired person to put the right name on the baby. Y'all <sighs> folk got to understand. They working these people in the hospitals at death. <laughs> they give you the wrong baby. It was 1953, so you know hey, some I'm, shit was hitting they the They doing it now. Yeah. All babies look like a worm that been squeezed too tight. That's <laughs> right. I never, I, I never got when I first seen my son. Like, Ooh, that's an ugly baby. I said, hope he, hope, he, hope, hope it works out for him. It did. Yeah, it, did. it did. Your son's cute it as a did. button. Yeah. yeah, boy, I got that long head. <laughs> <laughs> But shout out to all the white doctors who was like, oh my God, he got such pretty lips. Man, he does have pretty lips. God knows. I wish I had lips like that. And I look at her lips. Your shit thin as paper. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, never mind. Oh, man. That's all I got for you for the Tokyo Black News and Review. And Brandon, go to the con. Bring some of that kind folks, that kind funk, so I can smell it. <laughs> Since that'd be two years that I missed it. Dude, Sorry I, about that. I can't have Rona and con funk. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can do one or the other. I can't. I can't double dip. You, know? motherfucker, end up in the casket. What's wrong, little nigga? You almost in the upper room. <laughs> that word. <laughs> yeah, I'd be struggling. So you yeah, shot that walk the hotel, the hotel, boy. You might be up. Uh, you yeah. might not make it this year. No, neither. Next no. year we're gonna be there. Yeah, I ain't getting down there this year, unfortunately. I was grief stricken, but case are you know, yeah. That hundred and fifty dollars will take you a long way that week. Yeah, real talk. Man, I do appreciate everybody coming out and listening to the show. If you still listening, man, shout out to you. If your mother in law still listening, I tell her, man, I love you. I respect you. If you want to hang out one day with the Tokyo Black crew, we can. We'll go to the movies. We'll go to Applebee's. The Sam Adams will be on me. <laughs> I'll get you a Long Island iced tea. I'm telling you, boy, you may can't understand us all the time. We're much better in person. <laughs> Chicken, hey, look, hey, look. 
Don't mind we stay up a little late. Chicken that that hey bro, that one that half off after what, 9 30, 10 o'clock. I almost went to FB last week just to get some of that shit. My mouth was watering, but I was so broke the chicken one times couldn't make it. <laughs> oh man, that's all I got for you. I'm passing to my main man, Labor Day Shouty. I appreciate y'all. Labor Day Shout is gonna be working on all the days, but that's neither here nor there. But a white man gonna have to pay me. I want to appreciate all our, <laughs> all our beautiful prospects for coming through, all our new listeners and our old listeners. I want to give a shout out to PHW. I always flood me with the uh, fucking news. Got to get them on one day. Crit Walk Shouty. How let your boys, man. We still talk about you. Don't worry about it. You'll be our new Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty Ezer, man, give you a shout out. Sarah, if you listening, um, Cupcakes, uh, I forgot about you, Kimmy Kim. She always, she always check in sometimes. I gotta hit up, check on her. If I forgot about you, my bad. Ashley, if you still listening, which I know your ass probably ain't, it's all good though. New listeners, come in. Don't forget, Brandon gonna hit you with the spiel. What's up, it's your boy B Rock, the white liaison? Let us know you're listening. Write in TokyoBlackHour at gmail.com. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, or you can write to us on Twitter at TokyoBlackPod. Uh, check out seven, Christian's, li- uh, Christian's books, Seven Lives, Ten Lives. They're on sale now. No lives left coming soon. While you're waiting for that, head on over to Endless Ink Publishing and check out their anthology series called Earth's Final Chapter and check out Christian's entry into that series called Casa Luna. Uh, check out Dusty on uh, Instagram. Uh, Dusty is certifiable. Dusty Unhinged. Yeah, that's it. Every time. I don't know why I can't get the new one down. I guess I've been saying the old one for 260 fucking episodes. It's just burned in there. Uh, speaking of burning, get you some of that hot merch at the TKB Panda Shop. Please, we sitting on a bunch of. I need to get rid of <laughs> for the new stuff to come in. Yeah, so yeah, get get you some merch. Still got summer shit going on. We got some long sleeve shirts going on. If you're ready, ready to get your fall on. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. That's your uh, ask your mother in law what size long sleeve shirt she. I'll make her one. Okay. Hey, look, for all the support, I like it. <laughs> all right, 10-4. Yeah, hear that? Get some support. Yeah, holler at us with some support. Maybe you'll get a shirt. Who Maybe. knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, Yeah, I think that's it. Hey, man, I'm going to leave y'all with this note. I, uh, you know, I kind of skimmed the Charlotte Wells last week. Hey, Brandon? Yeah. When Charlotte tell, uh, what's that guy? When Charlotte tell uh, Wilbur, you know what week it is? Is it a week I'm going on vacation? When Wilbur found out it's Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker put, put that bib on. That is some pig. <laughs> yeah. God had damn, boy, I forgot how dark Charlotte Webb was. <laughs> they're um, putting him on them coals buried in the ground, <laughs> baking his ass for a good 13 hours, getting him sucking with <laughs> They're bringing me apples today. Yeah, it's a wrap, dog. <laughs> the Tokyo Black News and Review is out. I had to we'll rewatch that. We'll see Hold you guys for the Tokyo Black Extravaganza next week, man. Have a good one. Peace. Please be safe and come back to us next week. Please. That's right. I'm definitely going to watch Charlotte Will. Damn, boy, she cold. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Take it easy. Y'all hold it down. Later.